Hello people of the Free Bob and on the boss here with another scratch tutorial. So today I am going to teach you how to make a fruit machine. I'm sorry about how bad the background is, but oh well. So you need to start off by of course creating a background. You don't have to exactly, but it's always good to. And then you'll need to get a certain amount of stripes. So it's usually it's usually three, but we'll just start off with making one sprite and then give it a few costumes. So you can choose what you want, so let's get cheesy puffs, put them there. And you need to make sure that you change the costume centre to make sure that it is in the right place. So that, let's just put it there. <coughs> now you need to make a few costumes for it, so click on that again. Things or whatever, or whatever you want, it's best to use things really. Let's get banana. Let's get an apple, of course. Can't leave those out on the fruit machine, really. And a orange. Where's that? Yeah, this orange here. So, just make sure the costume centers are correct. And if you want to, then you can get another spike, which is, well, another costume, which is what I will do right now. And why is a banana center there? <coughs> Alright, so let's get one more sprite. Shall we do hmm, a donut? Yeah. That's slightly big, I think. So let's just make it slightly smaller. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, let's just check the costume center. There. Alright, so now what you need to do is start writing the script. So, what it is, is, um, actually, to make it a bit better and more like a fruit machine, all you can do is create a new sprite, or you can, or, or you can import a sprite from there. So, um, let's create a sprite. So, well, I'll create a button. So first of all, we'll do something like this. Then, something like this, make that a bit bigger, actually. And then finally, in the middle, right, Finally in the middle you need, yeah that's actually the right size, and then if you want you can add like a sort of um, glisten or light shade on it, so let's just do that here, so there we go, you have a button, you can put it on the top or the bottom, I'm going to put it on the top, Actually, you know what? Let's make the let's change the background. Let's get this this grey hair. Fill in, fill in. And then what we need to do is when this bike clicked, broadcast start. So and then oh, well that made no sense. What I just said. But when I receive start, um, switch, no, 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 yeah, that is it, forever, no, repeat until, oh, no, no, that was a fail, forever, um, next costume, you can either do this, and then wait, like, zero no point zero one second or you can do something even better and what you first need to do hey, is change these names here hey, one two three four and five I think you need to do that I'm not sure but still and then um Switch costume to 
pick random one, two, five. And then wait up for one second. So now it does that. So that's not just one. It's picking randomly between them all. <coughs> so what we now need to do is duplicate this sprite. But we don't want them all to be bananas, of course. We want them to be different fruits as they start off. So let's make this one start off as an orange. And this one start off as an apple. And this one can start off as, as cheese puffs. So now what we want to do is on the background, when the space key pressed, stop all. So where is that? Yes, yeah, stop all. So now let's test it. Start, start it, and then bam. It's, it's a bit fast, but of course you can change the times, so you can change that to a bit longer. So let's make that point 0.1. That one, point one, and that one, point one. So now they won't change as quickly. And then space. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Banana Boss out.